Hi, I'm Nigel and this is Nigel Goes to Space. This week I thought we'd address one of the biggest questions that is, if the universe is expanding like this balloon, how will it end? Back in the 1920s, the American astronomer Edwin Hubble was looking at galaxies, other star cities beyond our Milky Way, and found them all moving away from us. And he said that's because the whole universe is expanding. If you take this balloon, one of these spots is our Milky Way, and then the other spots are the other galaxies, so the whole universe expands, like the skin of the balloon, and moves all the galaxies apart from each other. We now know that they started out in what we call the Big Bang, and that's why everything is flying outwards. But how will the universe end? Well, there are several possibilities, and one popular contender is that the universe carries on getting bigger, but it reaches a maximum size, and then the gravity of all these galaxies starts pulling back down again. So we get bigger, reach a maximum size and then the universe shrinks and shrinks and shrinks and shrinks. Now in reality it won't just be a fizzle like that because all the galaxies and stars are coming together so as you look out from some future Earth if we're still around we'll see the galaxies coming in getting bigger and bigger and brighter and then the stars will come crowding down on us so the sky will get incandescent like the glow of the sun's surface pushing in on the Earth and we'll get burnt to a frazzle before everything collapses into a single point. That's what we call the big crunch. There's just one problem with the big crunch theory. There has to be enough gravity to pull everything back together again. Now, if you look at the amount of mass there is in the stars and the galaxies, there's not enough to slow down the speeding of the universe. Now, more recently, astronomers have discovered dark matter. That's a lot of mysterious matter out there, which has gravity, and we're not quite sure what it is. But even if we add in all the dark matter, nothing can slow down the expansion of the universe. So our universe gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But as it gets bigger, everything chills down. The stars will die out. Eventually everything will become black and cold. And the final fate of the universe is that everything moves further apart. We won't see any galaxies. Nothing will be left. The stars will die. Everything will chill down to the absolute zero of temperature in the big freeze. And there's another new theory that's come along just in the past few years because astronomers have discovered another mysterious component of the universe. It's called dark energy. It fills the whole of space. Now, while dark matter pulls things together by gravity, dark energy is like anti-gravity. It's pushing things apart faster and faster, so it makes the galaxies speed away from us even more. So instead of the universe just expanding gradually, The dark energy is making it accelerate. So the universe will literally blow itself apart. The galaxies will speed away from us. But it's not just the galaxies moving away from each other. The dark energy will act on smaller and smaller parts of the universe as time goes by. So after the galaxies have sped apart from each other, it'll start ripping, shredding stars away from the edge of our Milky Way. And then it'll come down to actually act on our solar system. It'll pull the outer planets away from the sun. And then it'll come to the scale of the Earth. It'll pull the Earth apart. It'll rip apart the atoms in our very bodies in what is called the Big Rip. Well, those are the three main theories for the future of the universe. And certainly the big crunch and the big rip are really exciting. Uh, but for myself, well, as you may guess, I'm putting my money on the big freeze. <laughs> but before we get there, do send in your questions to Nigel Goes to Space. I'll answer anything you want to know about the universe or traveling into space. Subscribe to Naked Science Channel and join me again on Nigel Goes to Space. <laughs>